Oh, it really is for you too. What is up everybody? Dutch with D-Box Games and today is probably going to be one of the most exciting episodes that we've done thus far. What we're going to be doing today is going and trying our best to catch a Mew. Now we've been trying a little bit and I've had zero luck so far but I think today is going to definitely be the day. On top of finding a Mew, we're going to try to use a cloning machine which was super expensive by the way. We'll go over the crafting materials for this but what we're going to do is try to clone the Mew and turn it into a Mewtwo. Now what I've heard is every one Mew that we have has three chances to become a Mewtwo, but it could just give us a ditto each time. So once we get to that part, we'll talk more about it, but it's really exciting. So don't forget if you enjoyed this episode to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more awesome Poke Mayhem action. So before we get into that super cool stuff, I unlocked this ruby crate key in the last episode, or right in between the last episode and this one. So what I'd like to do is start this episode off by opening up a ruby crate. So what we'll do is we'll go right behind me over here, and we're going to open this up and see what we get. Now after this, we're going to be go meeting up with Uni, and hopefully she can help us get that Mewtwo. What are we getting? What are we getting? Come on! Oh, I thought it was going to stop! Oh! Three Master Balls. Now, that's not bad. We're going to need so many today. We're going to need at least two Master Balls because I don't want to mess around with a Mew and I don't want to mess around with a Mewtwo. From what I've heard is if we find the Mew, we have to use the Master Ball because we don't want this getting away. I've heard of people finding it in a day and then I've heard horror stories of people waiting like four or five days for this. So, I'm pretty terrified about looking for it, but I think we have luck on our side. So, what we are going to go do now is we're going to go back to the base and try to meet up with Yuna and see if our base is ready and prepared and if we have everything we need to catch a Mew and turn it into a Mewtwo. So, let's go check out our base and see what's happening. All right, so we're at the base, and what we're going to do is we're going to run upstairs. Now, the downstairs is looking pretty good, and if you haven't seen our fossil stuff over there, that was the last episode. Definitely go check that out. But up here in the breeding room, back here where Mew is, I am going to try to see if this room is going to... Hey, Mew. If this room is going to be able to hold our Mewtwo. Now, we're going to pause the screen for a second so you all can see all the ingredients for all the different stuff you're going to need for the cloning machine. Now, first, we're going to have to make the top three things. And then once you make those, then you can put all three of those together in the middle row. And it should make the cloning machine so that we can try to get our Mewtwo out of the Mew. Now, I believe if this works, we put a Mew in here and then something will pop in here. We have three chances to get either a Ditto or a Mewtwo. But if we get a Mewtwo, it's supposed to break the case where I can't use it again, which is okay with me because I only need one Mewtwo. But it will fly around. Now, as far as Yuna knows, it's only going to fly straight up. So having a door shouldn't matter. Now, if it gets out, that's on Yuna and Mew. We'll just blame it on them and pretend like it didn't happen. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go meet up with Yuna at the farm spot. She has a spot that she's been sitting at for a long time. I was sitting at there for at least two to three hours earlier today. And then she has been nice enough to sit there and been looking for me. So now we're going to go meet up with Yuna, talk about what biome it is that you can find a Mew at, and then just try to wait and catch one. So let's go. All right, everybody, so we're back, and we're with Yuna, and we're in the jungle. Now, Yuna, is the jungle the only place you can find a Mew, or is or is there other biomes? No, uh, Mew only spawns in the jungle during the day. Awesome. So we have to wait till daytime now, so it's nighttime while I'm here. So that's not good. That's not even a good start. But I guess what we're going to do is we're going to sit here, we're going to wait around till it gets to daytime, and we're going to come back once we find a Mew. So I will see y'all in a little bit, or... Never. One of those two. Bye! <laughs> Did the Mew really spawn? Did we get it for real? It's over here. There's okay. one over here. We can get it. It's over here. I'm almost there. Eh. I'm gonna catch it. Nope. <laughs> Can't now. It's mine. Wait. Is there even a chance? There should be a chance. Why does it say waiting? <gasps> okay. Good. We got it. We got it! Oh my goodness. Alright everybody, so we finally found a Mew, and we caught it! I thought I wasn't going to get it, I thought Yuna was going to take it from me, and for a second there, I thought I was in the perfect place, because I was on a hill, and we were talking about it, and it wasn't, and then Yuna happened to be closer to it, but we found it! That's amazing! 
So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this thing and we are gonna see how that we can, what is it, duplicate it? No, we have to clone. clone it. We're gonna clone it. I can't even talk anymore. We're gonna go and we're gonna go back to the base and we're gonna clone this thing and see if we're lucky enough to get a Mewtwo. So let's go. All right, everybody. So we finally made it back to the base. We have the cloning machine and stuff. All right, unit. So what do we do first? Do we just have to, do I put the Mew in my hotbar or how does this work? Do I throw it at it? Uh, no. So long as the Mew's in your party, you can just right click where it says insert Mew. Okay. <gasps> It'll... We get to see it. Yep. I wish they had this stuff in ARC. It was so cool. <laughs> And then uh, over What's here, this? it'll say insert catalyst. So you see how it has diamond block, gold block, and iron block? Got it. It basically will tell you, it's basically telling you which to put in so that you could possibly get a Mewtwo. So is so, iron block the best? No, iron block is the worst, and then it goes to gold block and then diamond block. What? So if you put three yeah. iron blocks, it's yeah. a less of a chance to get Mewtwo. If that makes sense. That's cool. I just, I, f I feel like I always read from left to right. So when I look at this, I feel like I'm reading that the blue one is the worst one. Okay, so I just hit it. <gasps> okay. Yep, right click it three times with the diamond block. And, and now, now this thing scans? Yeah, it'll scan the Mew and hopefully you will get a Mewtwo. But First try. It's, there's still a chance to get a Ditto instead. So let's hope it's not a dub. It's a first try. It's a, oh. <laughs> It's a ditto. It's a ditto. <laughs> but dittos are really good. I don't I don't have like I have like one ditto or two dittos. I have three dittos now. Okay, and so then just right click it. Okay. Not with a Pokeball. You'll Not immediately with... get uh -oh. into battle. Ah. And I just now catch you it can, like this. You can just throw Pokeballs at it and try to catch it that way. No, be my friend. What are you doing? Ultra Ball. No! It keeps breaking free. You will be my friend. Don't hit it. Pokeball, Ultra Ball, go. Okay, through the Ultra Ball, waiting. Broke free immediately! <laughs> Just not having a good time. No! I'm gonna confuse it with a Great Ball. I thought that was gonna catch it. it. Sat in there for a while. Okay, bag. Ultra ball. It's gonna catch this time. No! What? You know what? Mm, I have 182 ultra balls. I will catch it. No! Man, it just really does not want to get into it. I'm gonna, use a, I'm gonna use a master ball in a second. Just be like. <laughs> well, I mean, if you have an abundance. Yes! Them. Captured it! First try. Done. Uh. First try. <laughs> first. Kind of. I, I wasn't trying all those other ones. It's a first try. Okay, so now, same thing. I just. Yes. Okay, so insert Mew. Awesome, awesome. And then just go over and put in the diamonds. Diamond blocks. Do I have to wait? And Mewtwo. Alright, let's wait. I think it's a Mewtwo. Second chance. Oh, second close. time's the charm. Oh! Oh, it really is Mewtwo! It really was. I knew it. Chill. Knew it. Okay. I'm so ready. So I throw the Master Ball or I throw the Pokemon? Oh, whoa! It's... That well, is huge! I... I threw the Master you Ball. You landed it. I did not know what to do. I was so scared. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, okay, so we got the Mewtwo. I can't, oh my gosh, I can't believe we caught it like that. Why was it so big? That I, was huge. Uh, it, I, I have no clue why that. Oh, it my was life went out. giant. Boop. So now, unfortunately, you can't use this cloning machine anymore because it's broken. Oh man. That's so cool, you'll have though. to make another one to do the last cloning for the Mew. Okay, so my question is. Is if I break this side, do I get any crafting materials back or like? No, you don't. It's just all poop gone. Okay. Yeah. Well, 
that might be the last time we see this little machine because I don't know if I need two Mewtwo's. Well, honestly, I think it's cool to just leave it like this. It's all broken up. It's pretty cool decor. So. It really is. I might make one more just for the corner, just so I can have oh, both yeah. of them, but it might be a while. That was pretty hard to make. All right, so let's let's call this thing out. So Mewtwo, look how it's huge giant, he is. Though. He is it's so a... big. Hold on, how big Gen is he? Summary, stats, gin or enormous. He's enormous. Isn't that the biggest it can be before ginormous? Yes, that's uh, <gasps> ginormous and microscopic can only be gotten through breeding. So this is the biggest that it can be. That is so big. You're about the size of its waist. Yeah. <laughs> that is so tall. Now, is there any stats like in nature? What should it be in? Because I got brave. Is brave good? So brave is actually a really bad <laughs> no. nature. No! I have a bad feature. You're bad. Is that why his happiness but, is zero? His happiness is zero. You can actually raise the happiness with uh, berries and stuff. Me. <laughs> Be my friend. But basically, you, you won't want even a. Look at me now. <laughs> Everyone wanna... is getting to me. You have to. You want a nature that increases speed. <gasps> Was that his worst speed? I feel like his. Uh, speed I believe it's minus speed. speed. Brave, that is. It was. Speed's the worst on here. It's red. And then attack is green. <gasps> but you can change it with Poke Builder, so... Okay, and what would be a good one for this to change to? Would it be put the special defense down? And have him high in speed and special attack? Or regular attack's good? Or... Uh, well, if you want it to be increased special attack, you can do modest. Which is plus special attack minus attack. Or you can do uh, timid. Which is an increase in speed with minus attack. Awesome. I think I'm gonna go timid. Uh, it depends though. You should check uh, what the IVs are. Awesome. And how do we do that? What slot is the me on? Six. So do slash IV IVS space six. Six. Okay, so HP thirty one, then attack IVs thirty one, defense is twenty six. Oh, it just went away. And then special attacks 31, defense 25, speed is 9. It's so low. Uh, then I'd probably go for a modest since uh, the special attack is increased. Is max, that is. Okay. So 31 is max for a Pokemon? Unless you want to do a physical attack. Yeah, 31 is the max EV, or IV stat that it can have. Awesome. He keeps grunting. He's like a <laughs> grunter. <gasps> I'm going to call you grunt. It over here. He doesn't want to look at me. Oh, there's Earth Dragon. Earth Dragon, look what we got. <gasps> no, oh, I'm killing it. It's glitching the wall. He's too tall. I can't take him anywhere. Can I fly on these? <gasps> no! What's happening? Oh, oh, you're on his head. Click uh, left shift. <gasps> okay, that was so scary. So you He's can too ride big, it. so you ride his, you end up riding his head. Okay, so that's like an outside Pokemon. We'll try to ride that maybe later. Okay. Awesome. So let's go downstairs, and I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much, Uni, for being in this video and helping me out again. I'm sure we'll see you next time. Okay. All right, bye. All right, everybody. So that was a really, really fun episode. Thank you again to Uni for helping me out so much with the whole episode and to everybody else that was helping us. We definitely had a lot of mods in the background helping us find the Mew and working with us because... It was not easy. There was a lot of sitting and waiting and a lot of help from the mods to make sure that we could get a hold of a Mew in time. Now I do have Mewtwo, yet it still has yet to want to look at me. I cannot get this thing to love me at all. There's no love from this Mewtwo, but I am so, so thankful to have it. So again, thank you everyone that was a part of this. It was huge, huge help because I could not have done this on my own. Definitely could not have done it on my own. But I hope everybody enjoyed the episode. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the episode, to make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more awesome Pokemon Mayhem action. Get off me, Mew. Or Mewtwo, get off me. You don't want to be my friend. I'm not talking to you right now. Look, he just gave me the hand. He is so mad at me. He's always grunting. 
Don't forget, in the next episode, I have a few things that we're going to have to be going over. For instance, I got an aura key and a mystic crate key. So I will be opening those up at the beginning of the next episode. So definitely stay tuned for that stuff because it's going to be really fun. And I'm sure if Fubar is available, we can try to get in a battle or two with him. If not, we might head over to Switch's house or do something really awesome. But no matter what we do, it's going to be a lot of fun. So until next time, everyone, later!